Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, looking at a beer style that I really love, but I never get to try. Why? Because not many modern breweries do it. So, it's Rauchbier, guys. It's a Rauchbier time. I love Rauchbier. Uh, it's lager wise, I think it's probably my favorite type of lager, really. Maybe with Doppelbach, I just love the smoky character on him. Uh, very nice classical beer. So today we're going to be looking at one I have never heard of that should be nice. So this is from uh, Brauerei Speziale or Spezial in Bamberg in Germany. So Bamberg is where the Rauchbier uh, originates from. And this is the Speziale Rauchbier Lager Beer. So it's a lager on 4.9%, but it's a Rauchbier. They do kind of like Schlenkerle, also like Märzens and different variants of Rauchbier. Uh, so that's really cool. So this, I guess it's like their base lager from the Munich malt and whatnot in there. Uh, yeah, something like, something like that. It's a half a liter bottle and I gotta give a thanks to <laughs> my boss actually for this one, or boss slash brewmaster. Uh, I'm currently working at a brewery helping getting uh, it up and running. It's called Two Face Brewing, and you can find it on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So keep your eyes peeled. I do communications work and uh, kind of marketing work, but also lend a hand with uh, brewing and whatnot. It's really cool so far. So keep your eyes peeled for that, guys, if you want to follow along. Just Google search Two Face Brewing on uh, both our Google search. Search for it on both uh, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook if you want to check it out. So it should be really nice to try some off beer. Yeah, and again, thanks to Mario for, for this bad boy. So, because our brew, brew master is German. So this is a nice looking beer in the glass. It looks like, you know, oh, and also I get to use my <laughs> UNM Lobos glass. I th not the best beer for glass for tasting beer, but I love drinking off beer out of mugs, especially my Lobos mugs, because I never use it. <laughs> but it's awesome, it's awesome. I got it when I was studying in New Mexico. But yeah, this looks great in the glass. Nice, clear, amber color to it. That's pretty much it. Fine, soft carbonation, it looks like. And the head that was there was like huge and frothy, nice, kind of slightly beige looking. It looked great pouring out into the glass. So without further ado, let's check out the aroma on that Speziale Rauchbier Lager Bier. <laughs> oh man, I takes me back. It takes me back to like the first time I had something like Schlenkerla Rauchbier, uh, the Märzen. It's made with beechwood, beechwood, beechwood smoked malt, and they also do some oak smoking, I think. But beechwood smoked malt that they smoke in house themselves, uh, that they then use in the beer. It smells really nice. It's that kind of bacony, meaty smoke, salt pork, salt uh, fish, maybe. Um, kind of like a bit of sweet, uh, slight caramel toffee malt undertones. Cured sausage, cured meats in general. Think like uh, jamon from Spain, or you're like, <laughs> if we're talking German stuff, like Schwarzwalderschinken. If you want to taste it, cheers. And again, thanks to Mario for this one. <laughs> I don't understand how people sometimes say that they couldn't drink more than one beer of this stuff. It is so sessionable with that awesome smoke complexity for a lager it's just so different too i could easily quaff quite a few bottles of this because the meaty smoke isn't too much i think the smoke is a bit more dominant on the skin calabians but it's quite nice it's not like mind-blowing crazy insane beer but for what it is it's very well made and again i, I just enjoy enjoy rauch beers mm. nice kind of medium body Dry, a bit of bitterness to it actually, like a slight kick of bitterness from the hops. We're getting that kind of sweet toffee edge from the malt. Toffee, slight caramelly. I think it's Munich malt they use in here. I'm not entirely sure, but it could be something like that, or maybe just a, a little bit of caramel, but I'm guessing it's Munich. A lot of the darker German lagers is Munich malt and Pilsner malt, but man, nice stuff. And of course, the smoke is there. <laughs> Uh, the beechwood smoke malt, the Rauchmalz, definitely shines through as well. You're getting that nice cured sausage, cured meats, 
uh, salt pork, sometimes bacony uh, smoke flavor. It's just it's such a unique smoke flavor. Be uh, smoke flavor peach wood smoke malt gives compared to like oak smoke or yeah other smoke malts. Peated malt as well. It's just because it's so meaty. And it's not mind blowing beer. It's just an awesome traditional kind of beer style you just so rarely see. And I think I like this as much as the Schlenkerler auf Bier Märzen, which I tried back in the day, which I gave a 90. And I will give this a 92. This is just so well brewed uh, traditional stuff. And it's fun to go back to traditional stuff once in a while, and especially this rare style like this. So, yeah, 90. I think still the best smoke beer I've ever had is the Fasten beer from Schlenkerler, which was fucking amazing. So hopefully I'll get to try, I don't know, in the future more stuff from these guys because sure is enjoyable stuff. So guys, if you've had a chance to try the Brauerei Spezial Rauchbier Lager, the lager they do, they do a few as it's in, let me know what you think of it guys and what's your thought on Rauchbeers? I probably think I've, quite a few people don't enjoy them, but something like this, that's this balance with smoke and malt and whatnot, I could easily pound a few of these just because they're so nice. <laughs> and I think this would be great with food too compared to some of the really, really beach with smoky ones from Schlenkava actually. Uh, especially like, yeah, like with meats uh, and stuff, just because it's not too intense with the smoke. But yeah, great, great stuff. Let me know what you think of it if you've had a chance to try it guys. And again, thanks to Mario for this one. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say cheers and some delicious Rauchbier. And see you guys in another beer review.